Despite the great strides made by uh, integrating technology into the various spheres of life, including agriculture, a huge segment of farmers still use traditional tools in their trade. Uh, these farmers are, however, so relevant and the International Day of Peasant Struggle is set aside to celebrate their contribution to feeding the world. Their traditionally low adoption of technology, notwithstanding peasant farmers here in Ghana, appreciate they would be a lot better or of mechanizing aspects of their operations. Join us as athlete Arthur has been interacting with some of the farmers at a shaman here in Accra, battling post-harvest losses. <laughs> Established in 1968, the Shaiman Irrigation Scheme currently works with 107 farmers, including 22 women. Though a total of 155 hectares are available for cultivation, more than half has been left fallow. Each farmer is allocated less than a hectare of the government's land and they engage in all year-round cultivation due to the availability of water for irrigation. Some of the rice, maize and vegetables sold at markets in Tema and Accra come from these farms. The farms, however, have poor yields because the farmers say they do not have the machines to plow or harvest their crops. We don't have uh, power tillers to till the rice fields. We don't have tractors to plow the vegetable fields. Yeah, so we find our own way of doing that. It affects our cropping calendar. Yes, as we went around the farm, we saw some plots lying fallow. No machinery to start with. The few who have been able to cultivate at the end of it don't get the combined harvesters to harvest. They use sickles, some use knives, cutlasses, and which makes grains to drop. Those harvest loss is very, very, very great. They also complain about encroachment. We have just been working on a farm, then some people would just come and then started destroying our crops and then start making foundation to put up a structure. And we have been reporting the case to the police. But it looks as if no positive action has been taken because nobody has claimed responsibility of he or she is selling the land. But as far as we know, we have been recognized on the land as such. The government has given us paper to stay on the land. Though government has reintroduced fertilizer subsidies, small-scale farmers are disappointed with the discount. With the increase in fertilizer prices, the farmers say the 20% subsidy offers very little comfort. But there are those two who would rather the chemical fertilizers they are supplied are completely done away with. A prison farmer may have an animal farming. So it is the dropping of the animal farming that we can also use to grow the other crops. So it is like a, a cycle. You pick it from the animal, you send it to the uh, land. Then the land will eventually give you what you also need. But to go and uh, carry chemical fertilizer, where you don't have control over it, when the international market decides to increase their price, you, the peasant farmer in Ghana, you have no say. So I, I think we should take the destiny into our own hands and then uh, get the power to grow our own food. Small-scale farmers contend their struggles in the age of technological advancement cannot be tolerated, especially considering their significant contribution to Ghana's food security. The Peasant Farmers Association wants government to reform agricultural policies such as the plant breeders bill and land tenor systems that seek to stifle the small-scale farmer.